Hello, Last Wade High School in Midlothian, Scotland. I'm Dan Tricarico. I am the author of Sanctuary Self-Care Secrets for Stressed Out Teachers. First of all, I want to thank you very much for reading the book, and I want to thank Lisa Conlon, my good friend, for asking me to send this video to you. I am happy to help out Lisa because she has been such a supporter of my work, and Lisa, I really appreciate all that you've done and all that you've um, contributed uh, and supported me on uh, throughout the year, so thank you. Well, um, Lisa asked me to talk about the saying yes and saying no chapters of the book. So I'm going to just share some ideas with you on that right now. And I might occasionally glance at my, my notes if you don't mind. But um, I had some ideas that I thought might be helpful to you. First of all, I think the thing to keep in mind is that um, the, the theory is that if you say no to things, you're not a team player. And I want to disabuse you of that notion right now. You're all doing enough. You're all working plenty hard enough. You're all involved in what I think is one of the most important um, professions on the face of the planet. So rest assured that you're doing enough, okay? So it's okay to say no to some things. Now, what should you say no to? Well, I think you should say no to um, extra obligations that you don't feel capable of given your current list of responsibilities and obligations. I think even more importantly, you should say no to those obligations that are not in alignment with who you are. We all have special interests and skills and value systems that the resentment and the stress comes from saying yes to things that we're not equipped to do or that are not in alignment with those value systems. So if somebody asks you to do something, you should say to yourself, is this something that is in alignment with who I want to be and with the skills and value system that I have? If the answer is no, then say no. If the answer is yes and you want to do it, then say yes. So first of all, it's saying no and it's getting rid of the extra obligations and taking things off your calendar and off your schedule. Because so often we are on this treadmill, this go, 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 merry-go-round, that it just becomes habitual. It just becomes this thing that we do and we don't, we're not mindful about it. We don't decide or make choices. It's just, well, I did that last year, so I'm going to do it again this year. And, um, and you don't have, it doesn't have to be that way. Secondly, we don't give ourselves permission to say yes to the things that fulfill us, that recharge us, and that's what you should say yes to. So I think one um, other thought I had is in reviewing for this video is actually I think the, the chapters are in the wrong order in the book. Um, I said saying yes first and then saying no. But really you need to say no first to get to make the breathing room on your calendar to say yes to those things that recharge you and replenish you and uh, fulfill you. So, um, so I think that's probably the most organic order that it can go in. Uh, I think the other thing to keep in mind is that setting boundaries is okay. You are allowed as a human being to set boundaries, which means sometimes saying no and saying, no, I cannot handle this right now. Um, maybe next year, maybe in a couple months, maybe when I'm through the, getting through this other life season that I'm in, maybe when my kids are a little older. It's okay to set boundaries and say, this is where I am and this is what I can do right now. And, and sometimes, um, because not everybody does that, you might get flack, you might ruffle feathers, you might get sidelong glances, and you know what? That's okay. You just have to learn to have a little thicker skin about that and know that you are honoring yourself and that you are worthy and that that's okay. Uh, final thought is, um, I want to be, whether through the book or this video or if you contact me, I want to be that little voice inside that gives you permission to take care of yourself. That's what the book The Zen Teacher and the book Sanctuaries is all about. Just being that little reminder in your head that says, you know what, this is okay. I can give myself permission to take care of myself. Because um, if you say, you know, I can't do this right now, um, that is mental health. That is you taking care of yourself, and you deserve that, and you, you are worth that. So um, I want to say thank you again for reading the book. Thank you to Lisa for asking me to be here. But I really want to thank you for doing all that you do uh, in education because, again, it's the most important um, profession on the planet, and uh, we need you. So take care of yourself. If anybody has any questions, if you want to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter at The Zen Teacher. Um, you can go to my website and blog at thezenteacher.com, and there's a contact form there. Um, you can, I'm, I'm on Instagram, just at Zen Teacher. I guess the part was taken I'm on Instagram, but just at Zen Teacher. Or you can email me at teachingzen 
at gmail.com. Oh, there's also a great place on my website where uh, the page that says start here, where you can sign up and you can get a 12 page PDF um, work booklet on how to take care of yourself. Um, and so I, I hope that you will pr pursue that and I hope you will reach out if you have any questions. So I'm gonna say thank you, have a great year, and I would love to hear from you and take care.